to those Jerkies times three. My name is Kenisa, and today we are doing a video based upon a subscriber's request. So we got this request from Elaine Perez, and her question is, can you please do a video about your journey with Marley and his eating? Apparently Yorkies can be very picky when it comes to eating. Just got a Yorkie puppy, and he doesn't show a lot of interest in his food. It's driving me crazy since he's still small, and I don't want his blood sugar to drop. Help! Okay, Elaine, I'm here to help you in the best way that I can. I'm going to try my best. So, Marley, I think I've said in several videos, is my picky eater. Like, Bailey and Zoe will literally eat anything I put down. Anything. But Marley, he'll sniff it and he'll be like, nah, bruh, this ain't, this ain't what I'm used to. So, when I started with Marley, I think... When we got him, I don't remember what brand he was on, but it was some brand he wasn't eating it. Blue Buffalo? No, that's what we got him. Okay. That's what he started kind of eating. So he just was not eating it. And I was like, oh my God, this boy is not eating it. And we went through a couple little, we would get um, brands from PetSmart. Pro tip, if you're trying to figure out what kind of food your dog likes, do PetSmart. Because they have an awesome return policy. You can try it out on your dog. And if they don't like it, you can take that bag of food back and get your money back. You don't have to, you know, waste your money if your dog's not eating the food. Take it back. Get your money back. I had to do that a couple times with Marley. So anyways, so we tried a couple different brands and we finally got to Blue Buffalo and we got the kibble for these small dogs. And he would eat it so-so. That was the best I could get him to eat. Um, and so we stuck with that brand, but he never really ate it all. And I was always worried that he wasn't eating enough because he was so picky. He would more so try to eat and then I started giving him like chicken and things and I would eat and he would more so eat that than his kibble um and so I was always like dang he's just not eating he's just not eating what's going on looking up trying to research different brands and I did try a couple of different brands other than blue buffalo and blue buffalo was the only one that I could get him eat maybe half of his food if that um and so then that's when I began to get into homemade food so um ooh, like 2014 15 I started making their homemade food and I have a couple videos on how to make homemade food and he ate that no hesitation no problems like he was just eating it up and I was like oh finally he's eating all his food in one setting I have to put his food up and put it back down and hope he eats it so the homemade food was awesome like I enjoyed it he ate it Marley enjoyed it but the homemade food it was too fatty and so what was happening is he was starting to get issues with this pancreas and with that he began to get sick and at one point I had to take him to the emergency room I don't know if I did a video on it or not if I did I'll link it but he was throwing up blood and he was pooping and it had blood in it and it was extremely stressful time and so the doctor did inform us that Marley does have pancreatitis he used to have too much fat in his diet and he got a prescription for a um, mild brand food very low fat and we did the whip because Marley's just not too fond of kibble and that was maybe like two years ago or so, not like maybe two a year or so like that. And so now Marley is on strictly wet food. Like he eats wet. And I do, um, the girls are also, nobody, oh, update. Nobody's eating homemade food anymore at this point. They're all, the girls are on the same brand of Marley, the medicated brand. You have to have a, um, it's like a medical card you get from the vet to be able to buy the food. The girls are on the hard version. I mix in a little bit of wet. Marley is doing 95% wet with a little bit of kibble because he's just not a kibble guy. Um, you know, Marley just doesn't like kibble. He likes wet food. I can get him to eat a little bit, but not a lot. Um, so <clears throat> one thing I would suggest Elaine is a try different brands of dog food and maybe one will work. Maybe he'll like the taste of one. There's so many nice brands. When I started with Marley, I think Blue Buffalo was like the best brand out there. There wasn't that many brands, but in these last few years, there are so many brands of like really, really good dog food with really good ingredients that really are really, really awesome that are FDA bro. All these things that it wasn't a few years ago. So I would definitely research, try to get him a quality dog food. And if he's not a fan of kibble, that's okay because they have the um, raw instinct raw instinct that's frozen my dogs like that um, I had them on that for a while and I think the only reason I stopped buying it I don't even know well I think I stopped well the dogs get good on it at first but I think the girls started having a few issues with it 
So, um, I stopped eating them raw and sink, but there are so many brands, right? So you can go to PetSmart and look, and then they also have these companies that have the homemade food that they're selling. You can order that for your dog, because some dogs, like Marley, just don't like kibble. I don't know what it is. I can't get the guy to eat kibble. Sometimes, like I said, I'll put kibble in his food, and it'll be okay. He'll eat it a couple times, and then other times, he'll just go through his wet food, pick the kibble out, and put it on the floor. So it just honestly depends on his mood. So that would be suggestion number one. It's just to try other brands, be broad with him. Suggestion number two, if you're really, really, really want him to have kibble, maybe put like a dog gravy on top or get a little bit of wet food, maybe a can of wet food and put it on top as like a um, like a sauce on top of it. Um, that helped with Marley a little bit when we first started introducing wet. We started putting wet on top of his dry. And he didn't completely finish his dry, but he ate more of it. Um, so I would definitely do that. Really, it's kind of like, this topic is, is kind of like subject to your dog. Of course, some people will be like, oh, you know, they'll eat it, they get hungry enough. Mm -hmm. I don't subscribe to that method. I kind of want my dogs to not have to be starving to eat something they hate. I want to find something that they kind of like, that it does. I don't have to force them to eat. And so, like I said, now he's doing well, so maybe your dog is not a, a wet food person, or maybe it's a kibble you have. So, my suggestion would be to do some research and try out different brands. You can try out the Buffalo. You can try out, like, Nutra. That, it's a bunch of different brands. And you can do the ones where they mail the dog food to you, they mail, and it's fresh made. He may like that. So, just kind of play around with it. And don't, don't give up hope. Don't lose patience. It's been a long journey with Marley. Marley is six. He'll be seven and... November and we're just kind of getting to a place where he consistently eats his food. It took us a while to get there So don't get frustrated. Don't give up. He'll get there So I hope that helps a little bit and if you guys in the comments have dealt with dogs that are picky eaters Maybe you guys can help give more suggestions to Elaine on things that she can do and um, That is it for me today. I definitely thank you guys for watching those jerkies times three we are so close to 15,000 subscribers. When we do here, we're going to do an awesome giveaway. So definitely like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.